What's going on everybody? Tech Kid Geek here, here with a review of the Google Chromecast. Now this is a little HDMI dongle plug and play thing that you can make your old T HDTV into a smart TV. Now, they have a few apps that come with it like YouTube, Netflix, and Google Chrome. Those apps all work with it right now. Right now, it's not too many apps with it, but what it's allowing you to do is make your TV into a smart TV. If you have an old HD HDTV that's kind of like, you know, doesn't have the apps built in, but this is a uh, substitute for that. It's only 35 bucks, but let's go on and get into this review and tell me what you think. And here we are with the unboxing of the Chromecast here. Now, I got my knife out here. Now, I tried to open up with my fingernail that first, and then I got frustrated with it. So then I went on and picked my knife right back on up where I should have did in the first place. But, you know, look, hey, sometimes you make things harder than they have to be because you're trying to be, I don't know, don't even ask me. Uh, just open the box here, then I slide it out. As you can see, I mean, got the Chrome, got the blue, got the white and all over there, Chromecast. And then I pops it open right here. And you can see it's a nice little device. It's an HDMI little dongle plug-in, whatever you want to call it. And, and see, it's hard to focus here, but you can see the little USB. And you got the little, I guess, the reset button it is right there. So it's kind of like uh, if it freezes or stalls or whatever, you can kind of hit the reset button and just, you know, start from scratch, I guess. That's what that's there for. So this is a look at the HDMI dongle plug-in whatever. <laughs> Chromecast HDMI plug-in right there now if I flip, take this out I got the micro USB slot right there so that can, you can power it up through your uh, USB port on your TV but they also give you an AC adapter so if you can't if you don't have a USB on your TV you can plug it into the wall now the cable is kind of is long enough to make it into an extension cord or power strip if you have one available to you, but sometimes it seems like it depends on where your HDMI is plugged in, I mean your port is at, so it may be a little complicated in some cases, but if you can make it work, it's really, it shouldn't be too hard to get it set up, but that's the setup here, plug it into your HDMI, plug it into USB, and that's pretty much it, for as far as, you know, how to get this thing going and getting ready, so here's a, one more look at it, see how small it is, you know, it's not that big, so it won't take up a lot of space. Now here's the initial setup that you have. You got the little Chromecast HDMI plug in. You plug it in, and then you pull out the whole new micro USB. You plug it into the little back of it, and then that's, like I said, if you plug it into your USB port and that's on your TV, you should be ready to go. You'll power right on up once you plug the um, power the TV up. But like I said, you also got the AC adapter in case you don't have one. But most TVs I do believe have at least one USB for service reasons. So. And this is the uh, this is me streaming video from the Chromecast from my Nexus 7 that I did a review with a couple weeks ago. So it's, you can use your um, Android phone or your iOS device too. It's the same thing. I, I think the iPad as well. I do believe the iPad as well. But you know, once you see it, it'd be like a little indicator on the top right saying it's like a TV signal type of button that you press and it will send the signal from the tablet to the TV so it's kind of like they already had this feature in some of the, I did a review a while back on my uh, Sony blu-ray player and it has the same feature but so, just with Netflix where you can just throw the app at the TV and it won't play on your tablet no more just play on your blu-ray player but this is some pretty much similar uh, software and similar situation here where you can just th uh, I mean, hit a button and it'll play from your tablet onto your big screen TV so like I said this is a device to make your old HD TV kind of into a smart TV now the apps just hadn't been caught up to the whole device yet but you know give it some I give it about a couple of more months they'll have apps and everything that's suited for the Chromecast and they'll actually catch up with to the hardware and the device what it's trying to do like right now it's in the beginning stages of so it ain't that much out there it's just YouTube the Google Play Store Google Mo Google movie Google music store <laughs> sorry about that and then you got uh and I think the uh, I said Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, and oh, yeah, Google Movies, yeah, and, and the movies and things like that. So right now, the hardware is not caught up with the device yet. But give it some time, and it will be eventually. And there you have it. That is my review of the Google Chromecast. Now, I know some of the things I didn't go over, like the uh, Google Chrome and things like that on your laptop and things like that. I really didn't have time to do that. So, But like I said, it works just as fine. Like if you want to make a big screen TV that's not a uh, smart TV into a brand new Smart TV, this is the device to go with. It's only 35 bucks, so I can't 
say it's not like a real expensive device, but 35 bucks ain't too bad for this. Like I said, the apps will catch up with it eventually because Google always puts all, put their back behind any product that they make. So right now it works with any Android, tablet, phone, iOS, I, um, the iPad, iPhone, all those type of uh, applications are available for this right now. And it's also, like I said, you just hook it right on up. It's, it's a real simple process. So. Let me know what you think in the comment section below on the Google Chromecast. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Would you would you get it? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button as well. And also hit that subscribe button that's right there. And subscribe to my channel to be hit with the latest videos that I do as far as technology and things like that. Reviews and all kinds of tech stuff. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.